We heard your biggest concerns about the new coronavirus outbreak, and we're here to answer some of your biggest questions about when will a vaccine be available. So let's get started. So how do vaccines work? A great question. Vaccines help your body build immunity to specific infections by using an imitation infection. That produces the right blood cells and antibodies to fight off the virus. When imitation infection eventually goes away, well, the body is left with memory white blood cells. Those know how to fight the strain of the virus away in the future. So how long until a coronavirus vaccine is available? It would take then about a year to a year and a half to be fully confident that we would have a vaccine that would be able to protect the American people. That's because it takes a significant amount of time to create potential vaccines and then test them extensively to ensure they're both safe and effective. Obviously, right now, we don't have a vaccine yet, but it is in the works. In fact, there are multiple in the works. The World Health Organization held a briefing on March 6, 2020, where the director general announced that they alone received 20 applications for the purpose of vaccine development. I had the vaccine yesterday at 8 a.m. Um, I'll have a couple follow-up phone calls uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, I'll go back in next week for a blood draw and a week after that for another blood draw. Uh, four weeks from yesterday, I'll go for the second vaccination and then uh, repeat those steps for the next four weeks. That was Jennifer Howler. She was the first person to be tested with the COVID-19 vaccine on March 16th. What is the process of finding a vaccine and who is involved? Vaccine development starts with years of work in the laboratories of research hospitals, universities, and biotech companies, as well as the National Institutes of Health, which contributes a lot of background research. Larger pharmaceutical companies then pick up promising developments and begin the process of running three phases of clinical trials. That's where the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, comes in. They are responsible for approving the initial application to begin vaccine development development, and they set strict guidelines for the clinical trials. FDA rules require a third party to sponsor the trials, which means they choose the research institutions that carried out the testing and make sure the FDA guidelines are met. Often this responsibility falls on the NIH. During the first phase, the vaccine is tested on less than 100 healthy young volunteers. The researchers are looking for serious side effects. The second phase increases the pool to a few hundred volunteers, and the third phase tests thousands of volunteers to test the true effectiveness of the vaccine at preventing the disease. Once the vaccine has been thoroughly tested and licensed by the FDA, a team of medical experts from the CDC called the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices reviews all the data from the months of research, development, and testing, and determines how the vaccine should be administered, who should get it, and what risk factors are present. Together, the CDC and the FDA continue to monitor the effectiveness and safety of the vaccine for as long as it's in use. And I've directed the FDA to eliminate outdated rules and bureaucracy so this work can proceed rapidly, quickly, and I mean fast. So what is the state of the race to develop a vaccine? Well, we are still pretty far away, but at the moment, several pharmaceutical companies and private bioresearch firms are working on vaccines and treatments, and a few of them are pretty far along. Leading the pack is Moderna. They've already sent a batch of their vaccine to the NIH's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases to begin the first round of clinical trials this month. Moderna's vaccine works differently than traditional vaccines. It injects nanoparticles with genetic instructions that tell the body's immune system to attack the virus. This makes it faster to produce, but this type of vaccine has never been licensed for public use before. Gilead Sciences is another company at the forefront of the fight against COVID-19, but it isn't focusing on a vaccine. Instead, Gilead is testing an existing antiviral treatment to cure patients who have already contracted coronavirus. It's called remdesivir, and it's already being used by doctors in the US, Italy, and China to treat patients with severe cases, and promisingly, one patient in the US has recovered after being treated with remdesivir. In terms of conventional vaccines, it's it's anyone's game at this point. A host of pharmaceutical companies and biotech firms have begun development on coronavirus vaccines, but many estimates don't have them beginning human trials until the end of the year. So what to take from this? Well, a vaccine isn't going to be the magic solution to this pandemic. Scientists will undoubtedly develop one at some point, but it's going to take time. 
In the meanwhile, you need to do the things you need to do to stay safe. That means washing your hands, having social distance six feet apart from each other, and staying home if you're sick. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.